barrio catabar or the actual maintenance of the barrio catabar always make sure that your knife sections and your fingers are sharp there's no bent in the knife there's no fingers that are broken if you are running crop lifters any crop lifters that are loose remove and replace them the knives themselves please make sure especially if you have the larger style cutter bar please make sure you put the correct type of knife section in the correct place as the center knives are slightly different to the outside knives so the center knives are recessed so that you can fit them where they overlap in the middle for the maintenance side of it behind the knife you've got the auger please always check if you have starting to get any slight wrapping problems please check the scraper plate along the back of the cutter bar always make sure it is set as per the book as tight as possible the retractable fingers there are two types of retractable fingers that are out there there is the one with the nut for adjusting for, for locking it off and there's now the new quick release ones that can be fitted to your cutter bar so like for like with the screw in style ones always make sure when you do fit a new one that the tip does not retract below the plastic of the auger itself Going on to the reel itself, there is the usual grease points. Please make sure you grease them at the correct time. Don't forget the chain as well from the drive motor onto the reel. So with the Vario cut bar, it's always a good idea to push the table all the way out, allow you access to the underside of the cut bar to get rid of any debris that's built up over the course of the days or weeks so it's always a good idea push it forward get it underneath there and just clear out from underside the cutter bar for the real drive itself lubricate the chain and always check that the chain is, is tensioned correctly underneath the covers at the back we've got the mushrooms this is here what we use for allowing us to drop the cutter bar off in the field if you do use them, uh, they fit in just behind the knife. Just be aware that the weight of the cutter bar might make them sink. So make sure that when you do take it off, there is hard enough ground to take the weight of the cutter bar. To remove the dividers, to put the side knife on, lift the pin here, remove the, the divider. And then when you want to fit the side knife, make sure that the lever is set in the up position do be aware that the side knife is heavy when you push it back please make sure that the cradle fits into the hole on the top then push the top pin down rotate it 90 degrees and always make sure the top pin is all the way down and facing flat then place the hydraulic pipes in the slots and in the hoops underneath if you have the larger cut bar, obviously the, the gearbox will be there in, in right next to you. So please make sure that the pipes are fitted accordingly. Underneath the guard on this one, because this is the smaller cut bar, is the drive with the PTO shaft and the knife drive at the front with the chain etc if you have the larger cut bar it's exactly repeated on the opposite side with the chain etc for the opposite side so for a maintenance point of view please check make sure that you always grease the grease the knife drive at the correct time yeah if you do need to and you ever need to replace your knife as per in the book the two front bolts remove those remove the whole side knife remove the bearing refit the, the knife and then tighten the two main bolts before you tighten the first one when you check the oil level of the gearbox please make sure you follow the ops manual to make sure that the cut bar is set correctly before you check the oil level in the gearbox there is no electronic device to tell you that the oil level is incorrect so you make sure that you do check it on a daily basis make sure that there are no leaks etc On the back of the cutter bar, you have the reservoir for the side drive. 
please make sure that you check the level of the side knife reservoir. The, as the same again, there is no electronic device to tell you how full it is. And here as well, along the back here, there are the bolts that you use to adjust the scraper plate on the back of the cutter bar to get that the correct distance. When you're taking off or doing any maintenance where you're taking the cutter bar off the machine, please make sure that the engine is off because if you need to get to any part of that cutter bar and also to the actual drive shaft, please make sure it's off because any anything that's left on has the ability to turn and don't forget you do have nearly 210 bar pressure coming through these pipes at the front. Grease, lubricate as and when required for the drive shaft along the back.